Hey guys, Rottweiler here, back at it again with another video, and today I'm going to be covering the top 5 easiest characters to learn when coming into the Definitive Edition. But not until we get to that intro, hit it! Number 1. Claren the Black Panther, aka the Flame Salvation. Now, uh, before continuing on, I'm going to be covering each character's key moves, uh, general game plan, and their basic kill setups, or kill confirms, right? This character is all about fundamentals, so uh, no matter what game you come from, Smash, uh, 4, Brawl, Melee, Ultimate, right? As long as you have strong fundamentals, this character has everything you need. Clarence key moves, F tilt, down tilt. I tried to flex there with the with the tipper up tilt, but up tilt. Dash attack. Down air. Oh, and nair. Let me try to get this nair tipper. There you go. Uh, this character's general game plan is keep out. You have a big sword with a lot of end lag. So what you want to do? is uh, instead of running at your opponent with all this end lag, you use it as a keep out tool. They run at you, they get hit, and you can successfully, you know, start a combo or whatnot. Edge guard. Now, for her kill setups, right, that's her main kill move. So it all usually comes down to how you can set up into it. A common one I like to see is Nair F smash, right? Dare tipper F smash, like that. Grab. I get the percent up a little bit. Into F smash. That didn't tip her, but you get the idea. Next on the list, we have Claren's great, great, great uncle. Or even more greats. I don't know how many greats are in there, but great, great, great uncle, let's just say. Zetterburn, who is the powerhouse of the game. So, key moves. Some other key moves for Zetterburn are definitely his up tilt. It does 10 damage. 10 damage per hit. And it has them in so much hit stun, you can basically just do whatever you want. Like up air, forward air, right? And honestly, you know, imagination. Up smash even, right? So Zeta Burns down tilt is another key move here that doesn't really look too flashy or useful, but for tech chasing, as you can see, it's actually really good. And his forward tilt has massive range for how small he is. Forward air, another key move for Zeta Burn. Since a lot of times, if you can't uh, get your opponent on fire, you'll be relying on your, your other normals since your smash attacks aren't strong enough. So, forwarder is a great way to end the stock when you can't get the, uh, the smash attack confirmed. Shine, it's frame two, which means it gets you out of a lot of combos. So his general game plan, you could say, or dumb it down to light him up, shoot him out. So some common kill setups you'll see with this character. Uh, I've already shown a few already, but uh, there's back air up smash. Shine up smash, Nair up smash, Dash Tech up smash. We have Edelus here at 119. Tie for the heaviest character in the game value wise. And watch this. Uh, don't look at that. Somebody, somebody edit this. Yes, 119 as I said before. Look at this. There we go. First try. And for all you new players, uh, this is going to work on all your friends who are also starting off. So you can make them pretty mad by just doing this and killing them at like 50, right? Fireball, F smash. Now it's not true, but at lower levels, this definitely would get your friends heated. Switching it up now with the water characters, we have Orcane, the whale dog. Key moves would be down tilt, back air, neutral B so you can place the puddle, and down B so you can pop the puddle into bubbles. Forward air to zone off parts of the stage you don't want your opponent going. And definitely his back air. And it wouldn't really be an, an orcane segment if I didn't talk about one of the best kill moves in the game that are, that's on this little guy. Down smash. This is a frame 7 kill move. <laughs> so uh, you, can, you can see how you can kind of spam it when uh, you're struggling to kill that's even possible with this character. I also feel like I have to mention the fact that Orkane is the only character in the game who has an unteckable jab too. Most times, or 99% of the cases when you fight people and they jab you twice, you can tech a lot of it to get away from him. Orkane, it's not possible. He doesn't take you off the ground at all. 
So this is always guaranteed. This is always guaranteed. And if you're close enough, even that's guaranteed, right? So I gotta add jabs to the key moves. Thorkin is, a, is both a zoner character and yet a rushdown character by having moves like forward air to keep your opponent at bay, down B to keep them off the, off the ground, back air when they try to approach you incorrectly, and down tilt to beat out some moves. But he's also a character that can use a lot of these moves to approach. This down tilt is extremely fast, <laughs> as you can see, and combos into a variety of things. Right? And going over his general kill setups, we gotta talk about, again, this down tilt, because at higher percentages, this starts galaxing people. And as I said before, uh, this is one of the heaviest characters in the game. So you're not lacking in power here whatsoever. Ronald, the poisonous pacifist, is another character I have to mention, even though I do find him a little distasteful. Ronald's key moves would be obviously Dart, which is neutral B. You can charge up the four of these things and apply poison stacks onto your opponent. What these stacks do is they work with your side special, which puts them in a bubble. And the more stacks they have on them, the longer they're in the bubble. Not only that, Side B in itself is just a key move. If you catch your opponent's landing, read an approach that's not well put together, a lot of time running back, hitting that side B will work. Or when they're landing, you can catch them right when they're coming down with that side B. This down tilt is arguably the best down tilt in the game. I can't lie. Not because of the damage, not because of the amazing end lag frames or anything or whiff frames but because the amount of hits done it puts the opponent in ronald's dash tech it's a very key move since you're always baiting with you know darts and whatnot and hitting them away once they whiff as you're dash dancing or what or so you can dash tech punish them for a combo of your own three more key moves i must cover when i'm talking about rondo it's his nair it's fair and his back air these are some of the fastest moves in the game. I believe his Nair is frame four. So you're gonna get a lot out of a lot of sticky scenarios with this Nair. Same with the back air. Extremely fast moves. And forward air is probably the most disgusting kill move in the game. It does nine damage, it spikes on the bottom. And if you don't get the spike and hit the lower angle, it sends them at a terrible angle. And I have died. So Rano, as the title implies, is a pacifist. He doesn't really want to fight unless he's forced to or has to. This means that a lot of time you'll be charging your darts, playing a little, little bit of keep out, stopping approaches, trying to stop the fight as a pacifist would. But you know, once you get that opening, you're gonna kinda go in. Common kill setups for this character come down to down, uh, down tilt, up smash. You'll be getting most of your kills with this, I wanna say or forward air off stage which is not really a kill setup but just now if they're off stage and you're playing rano you have to be fairing them that is what makes this character a problem <laughs> last but definitely not least we have crag the earth's bastion this character is the most creative character in the game so there's no other way to start off crag's key moves other than talking about his neutral being his rock this rock does eight damage so if your opponent wants to crouch a projectile, we call that crouch canceling, so they don't take any knockback, it will not work. Because in this game, if your projectile does more than 7%, you cannot crouch cancel it. So even if he's holding down the crouch, this will still knock him in a hit stun in a way. No matter what he does. Not to mention, with this rock, you can also hit it with any move to break it. With both characters. And depending on what move you hit it with, you'll send the rock at a different angle. As you can see. So you can play around with that and do some crazy nasty stuff to people with this. You can even send it down. Like that, through the stage. So you have people like, for example, at the wall, clinging to it. You can just, that won't spike them, but it'll definitely hit them. Another key move for Krag, especially in the early stages of learning the game, is this down special. It puts them in a lot of hits done. Krag's dash attack 
is another ridiculous move that he has. Uh, it just does, I believe, 8%? Yes. And it doesn't seem that good, but the fact that you can cancel this into tilts and jabs makes it a problem. Craig's down tilt is another key move that should be talked about. It's frame 5. It sets up for a ridiculous number of tech chasing and damage output. And definitely needs to be talked about and not slept on. And the fact you can do this out of your jab 1 to down tilt and start something here. You see the potential. Another key move Craig has that must be talked about is his up tilt. It's very fast. There's a lot of damage. 12 damage if you hit the back part. 10 damage if you hit the front part. And it's a fantastic anti-air. Fantastic. It's so fast to come out. It has a lot of range and it's disjointed. As you can clearly see, that is very disjointed. The last two moves I want to talk about for Craig are some aerials. And those are his best aerials. Forward air. Does 11 damage per hit and basically forces your opponent off stage. The final key move here for Craig I want to talk about is his neutral air. So it's four hits, but it can only hit up to twice uh, maximum for 12 damage. This is Craig's fastest aerial, his best get off me tool, and not only that, but it's also disjoin Tid. <laughs> Now the general game plan of this character is actually quite different from your normal heavy in uh, Smash, if you're coming from Smash, right? And that's because he's, in he he's a heavy that is a zoner. He has a lot of emphasis on space control. This rock here, right? You don't want to go near- let me turn off the teching actually for this part. Right? Just to, just to further emphasize. Because this rock I put here, you don't want to get here because this can happen, right? And so it forces you to do like certain uh, positioning choices that you probably don't want to make. So Craig can easily cut off stage by throwing his rock around, making a pillar, and now you've changed the layout of the game to where it's in your favor and harder for them to hit you. And you also have this as a great punishing tool uh, when they're trying to break your your rock and your in your pillar not only that but it, it can just be great in general to throw off an opponent who isn't ready for it and the reward is very high again the risk is also high since this being parry means you get parried stun parry stun crack has a fantastic boxing game so when he's being smothered he can definitely get people off of him because he needs this. He's too heavy and too combo food to not have fast moves. That's why his nair was a key move that was mentioned, his down tilt. You gotta get you gotta get them off of you. And almost every single move in Craig's kit is designed in a way that pushes your opponent off stage, right? For example, that back air sends out, dash attack sends out, F tilt sends out, down tilt sends out, forward air out. Um, let me see. Down air sets up into these moves that uh that send out. Up air also sets up into the moves that send out. Rock sends out. Right? Down B sets up into moves that send them out. F smash sends out. Most of Craig's moves in his kit are designed to send them out. He's not a hyper combo character like Zetterburn or Rano. He's a character that likes to win neutral, but when he wins neutral, he might not do, you know, crazy zero death combos, but he'll send you off stage. Or this fair is a problem. You can edge guard. He's the best edge guarder in the game. So that's that's Craig in a nutshell. I'm going to be zoning you, and when I hit you, you're going off stage, and I'm going to edge guard you. And that general game plan kind of remains for every Krag, but how they do it varies so drastically since he's such a creative character. And finally, I want to cover Krag's kill setups. So, number one, near one, up smash. If they hold in on Krag's near one, they're asking to die. It's a very powerful move and very easy to set up. Not only that, back air, up smash also works. 
And let's not forget down air, up smash as well. Kind of like Zetterburn in the fact that up smash is going to be ending most of these stocks. God, that's satisfying. This one's always pretty cool. If you're on a platform and they're holding in, you can get an up smash, a down smash, an F smash. But for uh, consistency's sake, I pick up smash right there. There it is. Sick. That's what we call a break cancel into a down special. Break cancel because you're breaking the rock. There, that was cool. Break cancel because you're breaking the rock with an aerial or some move that has lag, but breaking the rock will cancel that lag allowing you to allowing you to do another action so in that case i was able to do a down b this is uh the final crag kill setup that you will probably get most of your time playing crag if you choose to play him up tilt up air all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video this is my top five starter characters for rivals of ether so all you new people get into the game welcome to the community i'm happy that you joined us and I'm, i hope you really i hope you guys really enjoy your time playing the game and i also hope you guys find other people in the community all right Peace out. Flame to your neck, that's the choke slam.